Hi guys, it's Frugal Fanny. Are you frustrated by the litter you encounter on your daily walks? Do you wish you could pick it up but you don't have anything to put it in? Are you afraid you're gonna get to be known as that crazy lady who picks up garbage? Well, come on inside with me. I think I have some tips that may help. Okay, so we're back inside. Here are some ideas for ways that you can collect litter in your community without getting your hands quite too dirty or without looking like that crazy bag lady. Personally, I think it's okay to look like that crazy bag lady, but there's only so many crazy ladies that can be in one neighborhood, so you should like class it up a little. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to create bags that are impervious to litter. So, first option, use a canvas bag that you already own and put a plastic grocery bag inside. Now I'm choosing to use this one because the handle's broke, so instead of throwing it in the landfill, I'm gonna reuse it and give it another life. So I simply tuck it inside this bag, and then I have a leak-proof bag in which to put the garbage that I pick up on my walk. It just looks like I'm on my way home from the market. Another opportunity is to use a cute little bag. This, is, this one's from Athleta. And I'm taking one of those to-go bags that comes from Tully's. They have great chicken tenders, and the bag they give you your food in has a big square bottom. You simply fit the bag into your athleta bag, and then you clip the handles of the to-go bag and you tie a little knot so that when you're collecting litter, you don't accidentally put the litter up alongside the canvas. You keep it inside the plastic bag where it can't leak onto your white bag. It's a lot easier to do this if you don't have arthritis. So then, you just keep this by the door, and when you go to walk your dog, you take it with you. It looks like you're on your way home from the gym. Now I love this one, this is so ironic. So, I bought this bag at this retail shop. And isn't it funny that they would put a reusable grocery, or a reusable retail bag inside a single-use bag, I think that's ironic. So what I did was, I flipped the script on them, and I'm gonna take this bag, and I'm going to line my bag with it. I cut the handles, and then I can do the same thing again, and just tie just a single knot, not a double knot, not a square knot. You wanna be able to take it out, if the litter that you're collecting is wet, it won't ruin your adorable dog bag. And if it gets really funky, what I do is I bring this home and then I dump it into my garbage. And I could reuse this bag a bunch of times. But if you pick up something soggy and yucky uh, and it drips in there, you ought to probably just throw away that inner lining of a bag. But isn't that cute? I think Homer would like this. But finally, this is my favorite thing. So, I asked my hubby not to recycle or throw this bag away. I knew I could find a purpose for it, and I did. So, here is a beloved Vera Bradley bag. My hubby gave this to me many Valentine's days ago because I'm a teacher and I carried all my stuff in style in this bag. Well, this thing's gotten kind of worn, and lucky for me, I found another bag, same size, different print, uh, so I updated my school look, but I still take this to work occasionally when I have lots of books to carry, or lots of uh, papers to grade, or papers to return. But now, I can make it my doggy walking bag. Check this out. It's perfect for this. 
This is 30 pound bag of dog food. If you've ever lifted up one of these suckers, it's really heavy. But it's also really sturdy. So, you have two choices. Well, three, you cannot do this, but then I'd have to shame you. You tuck it into the very bottom, you take your handy dandy scissors, and you could cut right across there so that all you can see is your bag. The other thing you can do is roll down the sides. Again, not an easy task for people who have arthritis. But nobody said saving the world was going to be easy, people. So, now you have this awesome, stylish bag. And you can just collect the heck out of that garbage, put it in here, and everyone just thinks you're stylish. They don't know you're that crazy garbage lady. So, I hope this helps you decide to get out there and help me pick up litter in our community. If our community looks beautiful, we're gonna treat it like it's beautiful. We're keeping plastic out of the waterways. We're making everybody feel better about where they live. And when you feel good, you can do good. So thanks for watching. Press like, share, or subscribe. And have a great day. Peace.